Hey guys, I'm Ryan and today I'm going to show you what I do on a self care day. I've just woken up and it's, I don't know what time it is, it's like 9.30am and today I have plans because it's a Sunday, I have self care Sundays. I have plans to do my self care like my face masks and shower and all that. But I also have plans to go to Keyside Market. I don't really have any money so I'll probably just get a coffee or some there. I probably won't buy anything. I have reserved myself about £12 for today. So if I do see something that's cheap then I might get something but probably not. I don't usually get anything there. But I'm going to take you guys along and show you what it's like to treat yourself for a day. So I actually decided to get into something a bit more comfortable as it is a self care day and I also realised I have a flask, I don't have to buy coffee, I am poor at the moment so probably best just to make a coffee in my flask using one of those little sachets and then I'll go to the market. I'm also not wearing makeup today because I want to do a bunch of self care like skincare stuff later and I think it's just better if I don't wear makeup for that. So I'm all nice and layered up because it's gonna be cold outside and let's skedaddle skadoodle. So I've just arrived here and it doesn't look like there is as much going on as usual. Like it looks quite empty. Like I think it's just kind of opened but like still it's very empty. Usually there's stalls all along here. It's just like completely empty. So basically down here is all that is open at the moment and it looks like it's mainly just coffee and like food. But we'll take a look, see if there's anything else. Maybe I'll get some breakfast just a mouth. Seeing as I didn't get a coffee because I brought my own. But none of the, like, the clothing is really like my style. As I said, there's usually a stall here that does like 10 pound jeans, which I really like, but they don't seem to have that today or not yet at least. But I'll start at the other end and work my way up and see what arrives. So down here is kind of like the food part. They've got all of the foodie bits and drinks down here kind of want a churro i might i'm gonna go down and see what they have but yeah it's definitely that they've just opened up because literally nothing is running yet so as you can see there's like loads of different things you can get here but i'm a bit of a wimp and i'm very fussy so i can basically only eat like nothing like <laughs> i'm autistic i can't eat a lot of food so i'm just gonna see what there is i also can't eat junk food at the moment because it's currently no junk food January when I'm filming this. Let's see what's at the vegan booth. It uh, looks like it's all like kebabs and stuff. Gross. I do not like kebabs. Yeah, I'm not a fan of what they're selling there. Sucks. Maybe like the sandwiches. I like a sandwich, but I don't know. Right, so this is the cheese toasty I got. I am going to go up here somewhere where I'm not in anybody's way and then I'm going to eat it. I haven't had a cheese toasty since I was like 16 so this is going to be something enjoyable. Good breakfast. So I decided to get some cheesecake because I didn't really get anything from the market and I got a Bailey's one, a um, double chocolate vegan one and a strawberry one and they're all gluten free. So yeah, I'm gonna put those in my fridge and now I've got dessert. So there was like absolutely nothing at the market at the moment at least. So I'm gonna go into town instead and I'm just gonna you know like browse the shops probably not getting anything still but at least there'll be something to look at there whereas here it's just empty pavements so maybe I'll come back later. In other news I did a swap with somebody and this was in my mailbox this morning and look how cute that is. They're a small business it doesn't say what their um, name is or anything on there so I can't tell you that right now but if I remember I'll try and add it into the video so you can see where they're from. But basically they sell these on Depop and they also do um, swaps so if you can't afford their product but you have something that they're also interested in then they might do a swap with you 
so that you can get some cute earrings like these. Right, so this is what they look like. They're so cute. Look how cute that is. It's adorable. Right, so here we are. Made our way to town. Honestly, it is self-care to walk from Keyside to the middle of town because that is just all uphill, very steep hill. And now I'm a little bit out of breath and I may have just worked off that cheese toasty that I ate. Now, the question that I ask every time I walk through here is do I need a haircut? Personally, I think yes. Also, what would I do? What would I do with this? Like, I don't want it shorter. I'm trying to grow it out. So what would I do? So lots of places have a sale on at the moment. Um, this one looks pretty good. It's basically 85% off. So I'm going to go in there. And everywhere is literally just opening right now. As you can see, they're literally unlocking the doors. <laughs> I got here so early. Why? Why do I do this to myself? I just, I can't stay at home. Like, I have to keep myself busy. So, here I am. Right, so there was nothing in there that I was interested in. Uh, the only thing that I liked was the buffaloes and they're 150 pounds, so I'm not gonna be getting those. But, was there any sales in Paper Chase? So there were some things in Paper Chase that I like, but everything's just so expensive in there, even with sales. Like the 22 Diaries were still like £8.40, even though they were on like huge sales. Yeah, like there was nothing in there. I kind of got a bit mesmerized by all the wedding stuff. But let's just remember I don't have a girlfriend. So who am I meant to marry? But you know, TikTok did predict that I'm meant to get married this year, apparently. Maybe I should just get some stuff, prepare. I'm not even gonna go into New Look because it doesn't look like they really have many sales. I say 40% off, but I don't think they really mean it, you know? They never mean it in there. So we're gonna go... Are we going to Hollister? I feel like it's gonna be mega expensive in there. But I'm gonna look, because there might be some stuff that I can then look for on Depop or Vinted later, if I find stuff I like. Like, stuff like this, I really like. And look, it has mushrooms on. That means I like it. But again, oh, I love that. Again, look for it on Vinted though, so that you don't have to pay £35. That's actually not that bad for Hollister. But. Right, so all this entire table here is my style. In fact, I think this entire kind of bit here is my style. It's still 30 quid. So, as I said, check online. You'll probably be able to find stuff like this online. That's really cute. Right, going from Hollister into River Island because it has big sale signs and you know, that's all we're here for. I feel like there's so much on sale here, but not a single thing that is my style. Like it all seems kind of like party wear. Oh, let's look at shoes in sale. Now, I'm not like the biggest fan of buying bags that are not designer. That's why I only have like two bags. But I'm just gonna look because like that's quite cute, isn't it? I don't know. That one's cute. That one would actually match the hat that I got from Primark the other day as well. Wow, I can't see why nobody would want these, obviously. So there was nothing in there, but we're gonna look in H&M next. So there's 70% off in here. Honestly, I'm kind of impressed I haven't been told off the filming yet because I'm pretty sure that people film when they're planning on stealing things. But I swear that's not the purpose of this video. Okay, so I think I found the sales section. Again, it's all very much party wear. So I think it's like from the New Year's, like when they were selling stuff for New Year's parties, which of course like basically nobody went to because we're all still quite scared of COVID. So now they've got tons left over. That's quite cute, it's seven pound. I like this bit. I don't think I'm finding anything here. Yeah, I like this. I hate that there's no sleeve bits. I keep seeing this. Now, there's no sale signs in Morphe, but it is one of my favorite shops like on the planet. So I do have to go in. Right, so I was gonna film in there, but then like somebody came up to ask how I was doing as I stopped filming. And then like 10 seconds later, I literally walked foot and somebody else asked me how I was doing and asked if I needed help with anything. And then like about two minutes after that, somebody else came over and asked if I needed help with anything. So I just left because I was like, I do not need to hear the same thing over and over again. And like, I don't need help with anything. I'm just browsing and I just got a bit sick of repeating myself, I guess. It just, it's kind of annoying when somebody like comes into this, comes over to you like every 10 seconds to ask if you need help. Like, no, I don't. I've already been asked this over and over again. Uh, I am done with Morphe for today. 
um, cannot handle that. So now I'm going to, oh, there's Nintendo Switch games in there. So I'm gonna see if there's any like anything on sale. Okay, so there was so much that I wanted in there, but I really need to stop myself from buying stuff. I need to like wait a little bit or like check, I need to check Vinted first. And then if it's, if I can't find anything within a week, then I'll buy it there, but I need to be more careful. I'm gonna go into Damage Society because I love it in here and well, I'll take a look. Hey, there's the boots I've got. Are they 50% off now? Yeah, and they're now 24 pounds. Those are the boots that I have though. Wow, I got them when they were full price. That's so depressing. I like these ones, these ones are quite nice. Um, I do not see a price up. 42. Look at the cat posters. I love stuff like this. I've got an Alicia board bag. Don't need another one. Another favorite of mine is Yankee Candle. They have 50% off. So I didn't get anything because even at half price, it's still 20 quid per candle, which is just a bit ridiculous. Um, I think, oh, there's a scrub up shop sale. So I'm gonna go into body shop. Again, even in the sale, things were pretty expensive in body shop, but you know, where has a sale, like always, no matter what time of year it is, they always have the sale and actually have cheap prices in their sales. My favorite shop in Newcastle and Summers, plus a 20% student discount. Oh, and there it is. So for once there actually wasn't anything in there that I was interested in, I'm definitely not buying anything from here because it is expensive as hell. I am gonna go in because I love looking at things. I bought a bunch of Christmas presents for friends and family in here and it came to like 200 pounds. <laughs> and it was for like three things, so. So apparently they also have 50% off Yankee Candle in Clinton's, so I'm gonna see how the prices differ. Okay, so they didn't differ, they were exactly the same price. So I'm just gonna have to like look online, find some candles because I do need some, but they were just too expensive in Yankee or in Clinton's. They do have wax melters in there, maybe they'll have candles. Nah, I'm not gonna go into anywhere else, I don't think, unless like I'm absolutely desperate. But for now, I think that I am done with Eldon Square for the day. I just got home and it is absolutely boiling in my room compared to outside. I think the radiator's on, I've got the sunlight coming through the window. Oh my god, it's so hot. I've taken off all my layers and literally just wearing a top and trousers now. But basically my plan for the rest of the day is I want to do some bullet journaling because there's a bunch of bullet journaling I need to get done before I um, start the new week basically and I also want to read some Girl Interrupted because I started it like two weeks ago read like 45 pages all at once and then haven't touched it since and so I need to like actually get through that so I can send it back to my sister and then I also need to make dinner and I want to do like skincare, face mask, shower, all of that shebang. So yeah, I guess we should get started on something. And also my phone's gonna die, so that's fun. I need to plug it in. For lunch, I'm just gonna make some Maggie instant noodles because um, basically I have like this box over here of things that I need to finish. So I've got like chicken soup, mugga soups, a little dessert thing there. The only reason I haven't eaten that yet is because I wanna get custard for it and I keep forgetting. But yeah, I've got like that little thing and this is in my things that I need to eat. And the reason I need to eat this is because it's the last one of the Maggie ones. Before, oh, it's like, yeah. Ah, ah, ah! Okay, um, well, what I was gonna show you is how neatly stacked all of these are. It's before I move on to the Mama chicken noodles instead. And I'm switching to these because apparently they're a healthier option and they're also uh, lower in calories. They're only 68 calories per 100 grams. This is only 90 grams. So I just had to switch to them. And this, yeah, that is all tomato soup, every single one. And the reason why I am eating all the chicken ones now is because I want to try and cut out meat and so I'm going to eat the rest of the ones that I have that have meat in them before I move on to just, oh there's another one, just tomato soup and yeah I'm just really into my soup. Um, that's the rest of my cupboard by the way, a little room tour, all my stuff. That's like an amazing breakfast by the way, my little jelly pot. Did I just spend four hours bullet journaling? Yes, yes I did. And I might do some more later. So I did this page. This is going to be my new morning routine because when I go back to uni, I need to have a good routine that starts not next week, but the week after. So by the time this video goes up, I'll be back at uni. Um, so yeah, I needed more structure. So I've made that routine. And I also made an evening routine to help me relax after uni. And I did some doodles here. And on the next page, I was gonna do a self-care thing, but then I messed it up. So I stuck like these all over the page and then I stuck this big piece of card on there, which is really nice. 
and I did some affirmations here and then here I have done my next week like this i've got like these bullet points because i give myself three tasks a day that i have to do um to call it a productive day i guess and so far like i don't really have a lot planned for tomorrow or tuesday so i need to come up with some things to fill in there i've put the stuff in that i need to do like meetings and appointments um i'm also hopefully seeing my aunt at some point and i think i'm probably gonna put the self-care thing here instead now that i've got a blank page there and here i've done my end of term page and my start of term page so this is the grades that we have back so far as you can see i'm really not doing well um this is my feedback so far which i'm going to write here so that i have it for next semester and these are the essays that i have to write next semester as well so we have six this time whereas before we had five so we have an extra one and we have to come up with exactly what we need to do for our thesis this is what you get if you work full time guys just saying. I also have down the timetable of when everything is, how long each thing is, and down here I have my NA meeting that I go to once a week. You're meant to go to one every day for 90 days, but that's just not happening. That's not possible as a student, and even like there isn't one a day in my area anyway, so I don't know how that's possible. But yeah, that is what I have done so far. That took me four hours to do all those pages. And yes, I am probably gonna do more later because I've really been enjoying myself. So it's been a very productive, positive experience. But now I think it is time to turn on some wax melts. I'm gonna put on my candle, which is down here. Even though this one doesn't really smell of anything, so. I need to get some new candles to be honest but um i've ordered some new wax melts but i need some new candles um i need to clean up that as well but i'm kind of wanting to wait until tomorrow to do it because you know i don't really want to be doing chores today like it's a day of rest i'm also gonna put on this little salt lamp and um by the way this i used this last night and the night before and it works so well the first couple of times it woke me up because it does this little spray noise and that keeps like jumping me awake but like other than that, I literally put it on for two hours. Within about half an hour, I'm asleep, which is great for me because I'm usually an insomniac. So I really recommend that to anybody who is struggling to sleep. Tonight, I am gonna be making myself some like veggies. So like I have it prepped in there a little bit. Like I have my carrots, my broccoli and my green beans. Um, so that's what I'm planning on having. And then I'm probably gonna have one of these like cheesecakes for dessert. And also I didn't show you guys, but I also went into Lakeland, even though I said I was done with shopping for the day. I went into Lakeland and I got this potato masher because I really liked mashed carrots. So I'm gonna make some mashed carrots with my dinner. And although today is a day of rest, there is no shame in having some time by yourself with a camera for OnlyFans. I, I'm gonna make some content for OnlyFans later, I think. Possibly not, but I think I will. Because I need to do that and may as well do it today because it's still self-care. So next on my to-do list is to take a shower. Uh, as you can see, I have all my things lined up in there. I don't have anything like uh, scrubs though, which is really annoying because I really wanted some like sugar scrubs or something. But I don't have anything like that. And I have some stuff that's coming in the mail. But I was wondering if I could maybe make one, but I don't know how to do that. But I'm gonna see if I can. So according to Google, it's quite easy. Like you don't need a lot. It says you need coconut oil, which I don't have, but I'm sure I can use like something else. And then you need sugar, of course. Um, and then you just need like to add your own ingredients to make it your own. Okay, so I've got my sugar. I don't use sugar anymore in my tea. I've switched to sweetener. So I can use the rest of this really. I've got my little tub to keep it in. And I've got some moisturizer, some vitamin E, skin therapy oil. So yeah, um, let's make this. We have it, a big box of sugar scrub. <laughs> I'm sure that'll last me a little while at least. Uh, at least until my sugar scrub from Vinted arrives. Uh, so yeah, let's get in the shower. Okay, so I just got out the shower. I'm also now gonna do some skincare stuff. Like I wanna do a face mask and 
get my face all nice and smooth and good. Uh, the sugar scrub was actually really good. It was like the perfect consistency. It smelled great. It felt great on my skin and my skin is now feeling nice and like soft. Uh, I did forget to moisturize, so I need to do that. But other than that, I think I'm ready to move on. I also just remembered that I wanted to fake tan as well. So here we go, we're gonna do it whilst the kettle's boiling. Oh, this is difficult to do with one hand. Okay, we've got it here, we're gonna... This is in the, this is like the dark shade, but I only put a little bit on as you could tell. It like doesn't come up that dark on me. Uh, I'm gonna go off camera to do the rest of this, otherwise it's gonna be patchy as fuck. So I've just done my fake tan. Apparently it can take up to three hours to develop. Not really showing yet, just a little bit darker. I've just realized that I have like Justin Bieber hair. And it's proper 2000s guy hair, isn't it? Well, um, I'm gonna make myself a hot chocolate now and then I'm gonna do a face mask. So these are all of my face masks and um, different kinds of masks as you can see. So we've got to pick one out. So we are, that's a night mask. Okay, we can't do a night mask because it's not late enough. So we're gonna do this one instead. Moisture balm, super hydrating and replumping a dehydrated skin. That's probably pretty good. One bottle of serum. Wow, wow. Okay, this is a 15 minute mask. Apparently it's been proven that your skin will be in intensely rehydrated, look smoother, complexion will be radiant, and after four weeks, fine lines appear reduced, skin looks replumped and firmer, and skin appears revitalized. So our face mask of the week is this one, Moisture Balm. So I have just taken off the face mask and my skin feels kind of like tacky at the moment because of the serum, but I'm gonna put more serum stuff on it because I have some more. What we have here is I have lots of little things. So I need to wash my face for one thing. I don't know if you're meant to wash your face before the face mask or after, but I've, I've waited until it's gone dry. So the oil must have already sunk in, right? Like, So I have like some stuff to wash my face with. So I'm gonna wash it with this micellar rose water wash gel and then I'm gonna do a facial scrub as well, which is this one, to get all this dead skin away if there is any. And then after that, I'm going to do like some skin care kind of stuff. So like lip scrub, I'm gonna do witch hazel oil, uh, my two nip and fab overnight creams, and yeah, just treat my skin. So this is actually the smallest towel I have. This is. So I have to use this to wash my face. Because I'm smart and I do not have any flannels. Satisfying. Now going in with this. And also, people who say my eyebrows have product in them and that I'm lying about wearing no makeup, nothing in there. Pat that dry. So now that my face is dry and clean, I wanted to show you, I got this ice roller from Primark and I've put it in the freezer so it's like literally freezing and apparently it's really good for your skin <laughs> if you roll it on your face so here goes nothing. Oh my god that's cold. Honestly I think this would be really good for the mornings because it's so cold, it'll wake you up. So I might have to make it into like my morning routine. I mean my face does feel very fresh now. So I desperately need a new lip scrub but this is the lip scrub I currently have. As you can see, it's like all hardened and dried up and I don't know how to reactivate it. I might just throw this one because I literally can't get anything out of it. Like, leave a comment if you know how to reactivate this because at the moment it's unusable. So I'm just gonna put it back in the cupboard for now because it's literally unusable. But I'm gonna try and use my body scrub. I don't know whether it's safe to be putting in my mouth, but it's just sugar and vitamin E oil and moisturizer. So I'm sure if a tiny bit gets in my mouth by accident, it's not gonna be like, the biggest thing in the world. This is what it looks like. I made it earlier. You guys saw it. It doesn't actually taste that bad either. I, I'm not gonna like lick it off, but it doesn't taste as bad as I thought it would. <laughs> so before I move on, I'm just gonna put on some lip balm. Look how much more plump my lips look after giving them that scrub and putting on some lip balm though. So much better. Now I'm gonna go over some problem areas with this witch hazel stick. Basically you just open it and then you pop it through the bottom and I just put it on any areas where I usually get acne. Yeah, a little bit on my nose. I really get it here, like get like this butterfly rash across here. 
I'm gonna give it down here. And then we have the two overnight creams, which my mum got me for, I think it was, it was either my birthday or Christmas. I think it was Christmas. So I'm gonna be using these as well. I haven't used either of these, so we'll find out what they do. Uh, they both look like they're the same thing, but they're not. One's a retinol serum, which is anti-aging, I guess. And the other one is a vitamin treatment, but they're both overnight creams. Looks interesting. And then I'm gonna use this roller to roll that all into my face. I feel like I'm painting, like, but my face is like the wall. Right, so that is all of that. Then moving on to the other one. So this one, oh, this one's a lot bigger. So this one's the Retinal Fix Overnight Cream. So I assume this one's more like a moisturizing cream. That's really interesting. It's like that, so it's not even like a pump. I don't know how to do this. I think you like, oh, yep, that's how you do it. <gasps> That goes everywhere. Who invents these, honestly? My skin does feel so soft right now though. I can't lie. You don't even need one pump and like, cause if you have more, if you had more than a pump, then you'd have a very big face because like I still have puns on my hand. I guess my hands are getting some too. I'm gonna wake up and have like five year old hands. So yeah, that is my skincare complete. But actually no, there's one more thing. I have noticed on my face, I have some spots that are a bit bigger than the others that have come through. And so I've got some dots for spots that I'm gonna put on the bigger ones to help them go down a bit. So there's one up here specifically. Yeah, I've got like tons, but like I can't put them on all of them because it's mainly like acne kind of spots. So that's why I'm just trying to put them on the big ones. That's that. So now I still have a little bit of time before dinner. So I'm gonna list some things on my Depop and my Vinted and then I'm gonna start on dinner. Right, so that is all broccoli and green beans and this is all carrots. And what I'm doing is I'm cooking it all at once and then I'm gonna put it into separate tubs or bowls or whatever and cling film it so that when it comes to eating meals, uh, basically during the week, I know for a fact that when I come home, I'm like, oh, I'm hungry, but because it's easier just to make noodles, I'll have noodles. But if this is here, ready to be microwaved, then it, like in the fridge, then I'm more likely to eat healthier. So I'm preparing it all now, and then I will hopefully be encouraged to eat more veg. All right, so they're both on the hottest temperature and the water is already boiled, so it shouldn't take too long before it starts bubbling and then it should be done within about 20 to 25 minutes. But this hog does tend to take forever, so it might be closer to 30 minutes. Update, and this is how this is going. It's all boiling, it's got about a minute left, and then I'll check to see if it's done. And I also did end up cleaning up all the stuff in the sink. That's just leaving soak because it wouldn't come out. And yeah, I'm gonna be putting them into these food containers, which I just washed again because they were a little bit stained and i have made some room in the fridge put the meals so that is the uh broccoli and green beans for me and then i put the rest in that container there in the fridge it looks like it's probably only going to make about three meals maybe four if i'm lucky but this is the carrots which i am going to mash i have never mashed carrots before so this is going to be an interesting experience. I wonder if it's going to be satisfying or not. <laughs> no, that is the answer. Okay, I think I'm going to have to do this off camera. Right, so it's all been mashed up. So let's get it on the plate and in the pot. So here is my dinner. So the dinner was amazing, but uh, it did decide to cut me off because I didn't have enough storage space. So I have just spent the last two and a half hours editing the video that I made today because I didn't have enough storage space to finish this video. So I had to get it onto my computer to be able to do that. And now, two and a half hours later, I'm finally gonna have my cheesecake dessert. So I've decided to have the Baileys one because Baileys is my favorite alcoholic drink ever. And I am now sober, so I can't drink alcohol anymore. So I'm just gonna pop this off. It smells so good, honestly. Let's see, let's do a taste test. Oh, 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 it's amazing. It's so good. I'm so happy I'm eating this. So I'm now gonna spend the last 30 minutes before bed of my self-care day reading. Uh, my sister gave me this book. I have about 45 pages in. So let's get this finished. Not finished, but like, you know, start getting it finished. So that is the end of this video. Uh, I know it was such a long one today. It's just my daily vlog. So if you enjoyed it, then please leave a like and comment below what you want to see me produce in the future. And I will see you 
hopefully in the next video if I haven't scared you away. Bye guys! <laughs>